I finally received the amazing 3D printer that everyone talks about. Today we're going to check out the Creality CR10 do-it-yourself 3D printer. They seem to be very popular among the DIY crowd with a huge printing size, affordable price and high quality printing. So let's see if they are right. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back. The box that I received is huge. You can tell the printer size just by looking at the internet photos. There is no banana for scale. So I was very, very amazed by the size of this printer. It almost won't fit on my workshop table. I mean, I know it prints 300 by 300, but I wasn't expecting it to be this big. So let's get right into it. Inside the box, we have two compartments, separated with white foam. On the first layer, we have the bottom part well secure in place, already mounted with the heated bed and everything it needs. We have the bottom frame already screwed so there will be no assembling for this part. We also have the Y-axis with the motor and belt already mounted, and the huge bed with both glass plate with alligator clips and also tape if we want, which is a huge bonus. Into the second compartment we will find the top part of the printer and the main board case. This part has already been mounted as well. So we have the X axis here with the extruder and the Z axis already screwed in place. We also have some extra tape for the bed and a box of extra hardware and accessories. Before I start the assembling process let's take a look inside of the box. The first sheet of paper that we have is for warranty services, so you might want to keep this in case you experience any kind of problems. Next, we have a small start guide and a full package content list. We also have a decent sized spool of white PLA material, a print removal tool, a nozzle cleaning needle, the USB cable, the power cable as well, some more hardware including screws and nuts and frame braces an SD card with everything you need to start printing, the spool holder mount with a metal arm and plastic holder. Finally, we also have some tools and a spare Teflon tube. Ok, so let's start assembling. The first thing to do is to join together the two parts of the printer. I prepare the bottom part by removing the plastic. Lay on the table the bottom part and align the top one with the bottom one the best you can. Remember to remove the zip ties of the X axis. Next add to both sides of the printer the metal T brackets and secure those in place. Once that is done flip the printer to the side and add the bottom screws, two for each side and tie those in place. And we are done. In less than 5 minutes the Creality body is mounted. It's amazing how fast is to mount this printer. The kit is already 90% or more mounted. Next we have the main control box which is also 100% ready. I've took a look inside and I was amazed by how everything was well organized in place. The control box is all in one housing for the main board, the LCD and the power supply. Here we can see a very powerful power supply with perfect wire connectors which make this printer quite safe. Each wire has a proper connector and insulation and it's color coded. Everything is well wired which makes the inside of the box look very clean. We have a fan that will directly cool the main board and the amazing last part an external MOSFET. This is the first printer that I have with external MOSFET. Basically, this is the part that will control the current flow through the heated bed, which is a current eating monster. Having a separated one means that you should be safe leaving the printer working for hours, without having worries about causing a fire. Another amazing part of the main box is how easy it is to connect all the wires. 
all you have to do is to screw in place each connector to the main case and then follow the labels as you can see here for each of the motors and end stop connectors and you are done. Now to complete the mounting I add the spool holder with the metal arm, insert the teflon tube into the extruder, make sure that all the connectors are well plugged and now we are ready to print. Let's take a look at the finished printer mounted in around 40 minutes. The printer looks amazing, it is very stable and it also has rubber feet, which will reduce vibration and noise a lot. Ok, now for the software I use Repetier with the slicer program to create my G code. I've created a new configuration file and name it Creality CR10. I entered all the settings as the 4mm nozzle diameter, 1.75mm filament and the print with 2 perimeters and 20% infill. I've used the same speed settings as for all of my other printers as you can see here and now I'm ready to print. I first imported a Benchy file and created the G-code. Now before we print let's calibrate a bit the printer. I first tape the printing tape on the glass plate. I start the printer and preheat PLA. Next I select Auto Home and then disable the step motor so you could move the axis with your hand. Then go to each corner and using a piece of paper tight or untight the bed screws till you have just enough space between the nozzle and the bed in order to move freely. I've uploaded the Benchy code to the SD card. Insert it into the main control box, initialize it and select print from SD card and the printer will start printing. Remember to add the filament and push it inside till it reached the nozzle tip. I was once again amazed. The printer is very quiet and moves very smooth and it looks so clean because there are no loose wires that would make it look bad. So there you go. This is the first print with this amazing printer. It's not the best print ever and there are a lot of retraction errors. I've changed the slicer settings a bit, also lowered the temperature and printed the Benchy once again. This time the print turned out perfect and I'm sure that with a little bit of more slicing configuration I could achieve even better results. This is the third Benchy that I've printed and looks amazing. The layers are perfect. I'm very happy with the results. So as a final opinion, well I am amazed. Starting with the kit it is so well packed and easy to mount in just a few minutes. The body is very very strong resulting in high precision printing. We have the rubber feet, metal brackets everywhere, Nice sliding wheel system for quiet and smooth printing for all axes with eccentric nuts for fine adjustments. Also all the plastic parts are not 3D printed as for all of my other 3D printers and I also like that. I really like the quality lever for all the parts. Even the end stops look a little bit better than the common end stops of DIY 3D printers. The extruder is so compact and well wired and screwed in place and it reached 200 degrees in one minute. The bed though gets heated quite slow. I had no wiring issues and I love the fact that everything has a connector that plugs directly into the main case. I love the huge bed and printing size of 300 by 300 and 400 height and the glass plate as a bonus. Despite the bed is huge it has a metal support so it is very stable, so it won't move a bit even if I press on the corners. All the parts are very good quality, the end stops and step motors are well placed and the printing quality is amazing. But of course I have to use it for a longer period of time for the final opinion and I also want to compare it with the Annette E10 and also the Creality CR10 Mini. The price for this printer lowered a lot, it's now around 330 euros on Gearbest. 
I will leave a coupon for you in the description if you want to buy it. That's very important. Check my webpage below for more printing settings and details. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this review. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share the video with your friends. That would help me a lot. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. If you consider helping my project, check my Patreon page as well. I would really appreciate that. Thanks again and see you later guys.